All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the one and only Cream TV. Folks, you know how we do. Once again, me and the wife on the couch watching TV tonight. And what do I hear? Always the same thing. Doesn't matter if we're watching America's Next Top Model, who's gonna be the next singer, who's gonna be the next dancer. It always comes down to the same thing. Everybody has a sob story. Doesn't matter if they come from a broken home, their home got destroyed, something happened with their family. One girl today had two moms. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna cut that out. But come on, like, <laughs> babe, I'm not gonna use that. It just seems to me that everybody in America lives a fucked up life and comes from a family that is completely disadvantaged. I just don't think it's fair for the rest of all the other contestants that are out there that come from maybe a more normal background to be competing with that. How do you compete with that? How do you compete with somebody beside you that's saying, I come from the worst neighborhood in all of America. I can't leave the house because there's gunshots. My cousin was killed. My brother was killed. My family was killed. Everybody. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't know what to do. I'd just be like, all right, look, take the $5 million. I got a good chance of going to school and doing something with my life. Um, I'm gonna go do that. Thank you very much for coming. I think it's time for people to stop using sob stories to win competitions. It's just not fair. Even rich people got problems. Rich people will go on TV and say the same shit. I'm rich, but my dad was never home. My mom was an alcoholic. I don't know who my father was. <laughs> I just think that people emphasize on everything negative that has ever happened to them in their entire life when they go on to a reality show. That's the first thing that they say. Why can't somebody just go on a reality show and be a little bit happy and say, come from a nice family, from the suburbs, or this, or I always hear this, like, we come from a really boring family in, in a little town in Ohio, in the middle of nowhere, on a farm. And if I wasn't here in front of all of y'all singing in front of the world, then I would be doing nothing. So I might become a bartender. Anyways, I'm just sick and tired of everybody always having to do the same thing on TV, sobbing about everything that they've had to go through just to win a freaking title. When was the last time anybody from any of these shows actually became famous? I feel like there's been like a thousand people that have come from these American shows. Like, I was the third contestant on The Voice. I was the second contestant in the first season of uh, America's Next Top Model. I, I, I don't, where do all these people go? There should be a Facebook group for people that have been on one of these shows just so that they could all form this little bubble together. I don't see any of them on TV. I don't see any of them famous. I don't see any of them singing. What are we really watching and what is coming out of all these shows? Nothing. Just sob, sob, sob stories no of karaoke with people with extremely little talent. And every now and then we find a diamond in a rough and even they don't make it. You know what? Something just came to mind. All these shows have one winner. Just one winner. And if all these people that have all these sob stories don't make it, don't they just go home to more fucked up, depressing lives? If you gotta go back to the ghetto and you've been on a big show, everybody's just gonna wanna fucking kick your ass. I wanna hear your story after you went on a show. I think this should be a reality show called My Life After Auditioning for America's Next Top Dancer, Singer, Karaoke, whatever the hell it is, mom. That'd be a good reality show. I'd fucking watch a reality show. I think it'd be great. I think it'd be great.